A growing number of Catholic schools are shutting down forever in the United States of America. Look at the smile on Armin's face. <laughs> um, as schools around the country debate how to reopen safely, a growing number of Catholic schools who were already facing declining enrollments and donations from before the pandemic are shutting down for good. About 150 Catholic schools have closed, said Kathy Mears, the director of the National Catholic Educational Association, equal to about 2% of the 6,183 schools that were up and running last year. The number of closures is at at least 50% higher this year than in previous years, Ms. Mears said as the percentage of practicing Catholics has declined across the United States, so has the number of children enrolling in Catholic schools. Enrollment for the 2019 to 2020 school year was down by about 1.7 million. Because what's going to happen to the, yay, by the way, yes, Rivka is red, yay, but what's going to happen to the buildings? Um. Well, this is, I don't actually know this. This is speculation on my part. They're still owned by the church. So yeah. they're still their property. What they decide to do with it um, is up but to them. But some... probably sell it. Um, on sale, yes. And um, recoup some of the losses. Um, they might keep parishes open. So um, for those who don't know, what was that? I don't know. I think every time I hear that, that means somebody donated something to us. But Did I don't know where it's on Twitch. Yeah, I don't know. I think so. I think, I think. You know, they're combining some schools too, oh, okay. Susanna. Like, you know, some of them are in this, so they keep maybe one, the biggest building, and then get rid of the other one. So they, I've noticed. That yeah, to consolidate. Um, if if so somebody donated somewhere something to us on Twitch or on YouTube, thank you so much. I don't know where that sound comes from every time. That mean, but thank you to whoever did that. But go on. <laughs> <laughs> whatever sky daddy made that happen <laughs> sky sugar daddy um so i'm gonna be honest you guys i'm conflicted about this why because the entirety well like 97 percent of my education was in catholic schools and i got an amazing education bullshit <laughs> okay. stop it okay here's the thing yes <laughs> Okay. I know it's not logical. I'm just speaking from the heart. <laughs> no, okay. Just because, okay, here's the thing. You could have, if you remove the four meal, the, let's say there's only one meal, okay? There's some vegetables and there's a shit sandwich. And that's the only meal offered to you uh, ever. And you, to, for you to get the vegetables, you have to finish your shit sandwich first, Okay. And somebody comes to you and be like, hey, great news. We're going to remove this mandatory meal that, if, that you have the only option that you have that is going to get vegetables and a shit sandwich. And we're going to remove it. Um, um, and pro probably we're going to have other opportunities where you get to get eat your vegetables without eating a shit sandwich. But you can't, you know, you're like, but I got vegetables out of those meals. And you're like, yeah, but now you can get vegetables without the shit sandwich on the side. Okay, so... Just because there's some good in it, that doesn't mean the alternatives are going to be so much better. There's going to be alternative. The market is going to f um, fill in that, you know, it's going to supply the, the demand. Like, you think what? Schools are not going to be good because the Catholic Church also has some good classes? Like, yes, Rif uh, Rifka wants to say that. Well, I mean, I think there's two things going on. Yeah, a lot of private schools have really great educations, be they Catholic right. or not. Or if they're right. Waldorf and they believe in fairies and the kids knit all day, I mean, a lot of times they end up having really yeah, but, good But if you remove but, some private schools, there's going to be replaced with private schools. That's what I was about that... to say. There's still going to yeah. be private schools. There's still good private schools, bad private schools. There's still all kinds of things. I mean, it's the indoctrination in religion, I think, is the problem. And then also it puts a lot of people who we found to be uh, – predators on young children in a position to do that in this institution because it's happened over and over and over again not that they're not all like that but i'm saying there's it's happened quite a bit but what i was going to say is maybe what's happening with you is just nostalgia for what was lovely and nice i mean sometimes i have that for 
some of the high holidays for some of the songs for the you know all of it it happens okay let me no but I, i'm gonna go over first is on a male privilege um but like him <laughs> So this is what religions always do. They have a lot of sh shit to sell and a lot of harm, um, harmful ideas to spread. Um, but they, to be able to do that, they have to make themselves feel make uh, feel necessary. This is what Hamas does, right? They're like we're a terrorist organization, but we're gonna give you some. We're gonna do some charity work, and we're gonna clean. You know, do the garbage cleaning, and also gonna feed people, and we're gonna take care of your children. So every time you say like, "Hey, let's remove this terrorist organization," you're like, but we feed the poor. Like we're feeding the poor now. Like you want us to stop feeding the poor? Like again, every time, like they do that, and, and it's not just how. That's just an ex extreme example, right? But they, they most harmful ideologies to be able to spread themselves they have to come and you know supply a need that people have to make themselves seem necessary but the thing is that they are not necessary because as soon as you get rid of them that demand is going to be somebody else is going to come and you know answer that call to the the, the demand that people are having i mean that's how markets work but susanna go on no let me clarify this is like rivka said this is purely a nostalgia emotional thing for me. I still have um it was my life, right? It was it was my everything. Like I have so much affinity still for Catholicism in a way. Like um uh I literally have like it like a tattooed on my body, right? Um so I I just want to clarify that this is not like any sort of logical argument I'm making. This is just me speaking like as myself. Um, but you're right. The one thing I will say is though, at least in my area, the private schools that were secular were substantially more expensive than the private schools that were Catholic in my area. So that's one complicating factor. Now you could say that the market will then compensate for that. Hopefully it will. Um, well, I mean, that's why the, because they're trying to like give you something that people need so that they could spread their bullshit. Okay, this is again incentivize. And they're trying to incentivize like this is a spreading of harmful ideas based on something that people need. Like that's how that's how you do it. This is like again, I I you know I don't think we should give in to that. I, this, like, well, I wouldn't be a Catholic schoolgirl. You're taking away a fundamental part of my identity. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Susanna, um, when we like tore the Torah, I'm going to admit like there was a part of me that was a little bit because <gasps> I've never done that before. I've done all kinds of blaspheming. I've done all kinds of stuff, against, but I've never actually ripped it. And so like there was this part of me like even though I don't care about it, there's something because you grew up with it because you're an adult. In, in Our Rivka, we, people don't know what we're talking about and we, we don't have time to explain. Okay, so Rivka, well, we blasted it. it. Yeah. Okay. 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 We so, tore the yeah. Torah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 But okay. Let me. Let me. Let me um, respond to some comments here. Uh, cre credible. Okay. So R Rivka is responding to a video that we did with, when we all per inter you know desecrated the Quran, the Bible, and the Torah. And Rivka is saying you still had some emotional attachment to your religious past, even though you're against it, right? So yeah, I, I experienced that as well for for a very long time with the Quran. Very very long time. Very interesting. Okay, uh, Cre Credible is saying the Catholic independent school teachers went to the same universities and teachers as the uh, um, in government education institution. Quality education can be provided regardless of the institution they serve. Exactly, and that's why we don't need the Catholic Church, right? So given so, so I, because I don't know, Hans thinks that that's an argument against my against me, but it's not because given that the teachers could do the same thing in every other school why have the shit sandwich come with all the science and good education right we could claim we could remove the catholic we could have these teachers teach the same type of content in a school that is not also feeding children shit sandwiches susanna i just want to comment on your point that you said earlier about like the environment of pot potential sexual abuse of students like that happened in both the Catholic schools and the secular schools that I went to. That's not exclusive, unfortunately. 
Okay, so then that's bullshit. You know that it happens way more. Just because it's not a binary happens, does happen, or doesn't happen situation, okay? It's the that's rape that saying. is. No, but it's like, it's kind of like you're making it seem like well, it's the same. I made the comment, and so obviously, yeah, we know it happens in all kinds of situations where adults have access to children when they're not being monitored by anyone else or their adults are given sort of undue authority, whether it's a priest or a coach, whatever. But I did say the statistics of the number of priests in that particular thing. Yeah, this happens everywhere. But when you look at that group, they have a large number and it's becoming... We have a lot of stories about it. The The religion itself has covered it up. So I don't know. As a parent, that means something to me. Like if I know that this particular organization seems to be, and this is my opinion, a 400-year-old cult of pedophiles, I, I don't want my kid 2, going 2000. here. 2000 well, just 400 with like the oh, the school <laughs> institutions and stuff like that but yeah two oh hell yeah 2000 but yeah. so <sighs> that's all yeah, i'm the, saying but yes it yeah, is the exclusive other private, to catholic it's not exclusive but the other ones don't have like giant funds protecting the child molesters you know and also continuing like protecting them and you know every other organization would have been like raided in by the police and everything would be their doors would be shut down years ago so again it's not the same yeah it happens everywhere but it's it doesn't happen the same rate with the cat as the catholic church or other religions and it's not as heavily protected let me just do this one comment um this guy that has a name that sounds like he's casting a spell he's saying finally uh best news i've heard all day and that's coming from someone who who came from a Catholic school. And I can say it's 100% hell. I wish more religious schools would close down or better yet burn down. Okay, I hope that that last part is a joke. We don't endorse that. Um, no, yeah. Okay, yeah, we do not endorse burning down any buildings unless the owners decide to burn it down as celebration. Or I don't know, I don't know. You know, maybe it's just the indoctrination. I still have a soft spot for Jesuits. I can't help it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hope these, you know, churches, the churches are beautiful. I hope somebody, like, turn, makes good use of Like, I hope they get sold on very low, like, very like low prices, right, so that the Catholic Church doesn't get much out of it. And I hope they turn into libraries, bars, strip co clubs, homeless shelters. There is um, a, a church in my area that was converted into a roller skating rink. Ooh, How cool nice. is that? That is cool. That <laughs> is cool. Um, I wouldn't necessarily count on them not making any money because remember, these are schools. So that means they're probably located in more residential areas. And there's housing issues. Some of them are. Well, of course um, they're not. Of so course, they're probably going to make a shit ton of money. Unfortunately, is what I'm trying to but say. But that said, yeah, but less money than what they would have. Uh, like they've been forced to sell them, so they're still taking a hit, right? So obviously, it's not going to be like. Not, uh, yeah. uh, so I think religious schools should be banned. Mm, I don't know about that. Religious uh, religions should be introduced as a. Uh, fictional stories. Schools should be, uh, sh schools should concentrate on education, science, and math. I don't think you can in a, um, you could do that. But, I mean, that's true with public schools, but I don't know if it's going, it's going to be like a huge infringement on government on people's lives if you do that with private schools, right? I don't think any government should be able to have that level of control over what private schools do. So I don't know. What do you think, Susie? Um, that's something I haven't come to a firm conclusion about, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. Um, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not 
telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 